Shh, quiet. <laughs> Rental cars. Once again, uh, I am in Michigan. Yes, that's right. If you didn't know, uh, I work for General Motors of Canada. And part of my work, uh, the latest job that I have, is taking me to Michigan to work on a new vehicle that, that is starting up here at a plant uh, near Detroit and then moving into Canada uh, next year. So, uh, today on this episode, I'm going to take a look at virtual geocaches. A lot of people don't like them. Uh, I personally do. And I'm going to take a look at five virtual caches in East Lansing, Michigan. So let's go. Let's have an adventure. First virtual is pretty simple. Brings us to a plaque on the side of a school honoring somebody and there are four questions to answer and this one has over 35 favorite points and it was placed in October of 2003. So that brings us to the first one. We got four more to go. Let's see. And they all have fairly good favorite point ratings. Let's go see the rest. Okay, we're at the second uh, virtual and this one is really strange. It's in this parking lot of this plaza. You know, there's a couple of restaurants and uh, a AAA office and a UPS store. And w where the heck would the virtual be and what are we looking for? It is so bizarre that I am going to give it a favorite point too and it has quite a few. It's right there behind that fire hydrant in those rocks. There's a burial stone for a thoroughbred horse that was quite famous. It's an Oklahoma pea vine. And uh, this horse died here and was buried on a farm that used to exist in this spot. And then it was sold and developed into this lot. And when construction workers were building it, they discovered the grave of the horse and the gravestone marker. So they left it in place and built the uh, mall around it. Now that is weird. You know, going about your normal day, most people just walk by this site and never give it a second glance. Huh, weird. What a completely wonderful surprise this virtual was here at the University of Michigan. The 4-H children's garden amazing just taking a look around the place all the cute little things to see for the kids things to play on all the flowers and it brought together just to show the kids some fun and some color and some life just all really cool and brought to you by cash canada and a virtual geocache just amazing absolutely i'm going to give this one a favorite point here we go again. Ding! Awesome. And I want to make sure I get it right. This is Michigan State University. The schools down here, they take their names pretty seriously. I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I'm glad I cleared that up because I asked a couple of locals about the name University of Michigan and Michigan State University and boy, are they completely different. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Well, that's three out of five so far and they just got better and better. I wonder what's in store for the last two. Let's take a look. This next one is not what I expected at all. Not really sure what I expected, but this is not the first of this thing that I've seen. Let's go take a look. Pretty cool. Humans spinning in circles, we're 
starting for days, stuck in a face. I think we're losing the reason. One word is all it takes. Pain bursting out in cold flames. Breathing me, I catch the Queen City. Yep, that's right. It's a horse-drawn, steam-powered fire engine. And it was used by this city after it was purchased from Traverse City. That's where it was called Queen City. And it was used until 1917 when it was replaced by a gasoline-powered truck. Very cool. And there's spoilers here, so hey, be careful. Log only if you're here. The last virtual brings us to the Museum of Surveying. Yeah, that's right, surveying, I guess. But it's the only one of its kind in the United States. I guess it's supposed to be pretty cool. Unfortunately, for geocachers, there's no access on Saturdays and Sundays. To log this virtual, all you need to do is send in the answer to what is the quotation at the bottom of this mural. I can't show you that. But I'm going to show you something else that's really cool. It's just across the street is a transportation museum. And across from that is this really cool mural. So right here is the R.E. Olds Transportation Museum. And it was close to this spot in 1901. The very first Oldsmobile was built and it had a curved dash. But that's not the only cool thing is, like I said, check this out. It's just huge! And this isn't the only huge thing around here. We're going to wrap it up at the Lansing Brewing Company, just around the corner. And it's huge too! So cheers, I've made it to the Lansing Brewing Company and having a little cold one as I finish up this video. So why did we go to those five virtuals? Well, for one, they were all in line, one after the other, and they all seem to have a fair bit of favorite points. So which one did you like the best and which one did you not care for? Um, do you think they were deserving of the favorite points? And here, I'll put them up right here, one through five, and the number of points that they have each. Do you think they were worthy of that favorite points? Would you give them a favorite point? So after doing those five virtual caches, you could basically look at them as that's one adventure lab with five locations. And that's how I look at adventure labs. It's a collection of virtual caches together to make one lab. You get one smiley for each location that you visit, just like I did visiting the five virtuals. Five smileys, five virtuals. Five virtuals, five smileys. So, I want to know your thoughts on Adventure Labs and, and Virtuals. Do you think they're similar? And do you like Adventure Labs? Now, when I, because when I was doing the five virtuals, I did some Adventure Labs as well. I didn't do just the virtuals that you've seen in this video. I did a few Adventure Labs, and one of them in particular was spectacular. A very nice little historical museum, and I had so much fun just strolling through it and looking at all the buildings. And I got a message from the lab creator that they watch Cash Canada and really enjoy our videos. And that made me feel really special. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, hey, hit that subscribe button down there. And don't forget to toggle the bell, because that's very important. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram. There's a lot more there's a lot more geocaching to come, or something like that, Lyric Glass says. I can't remember, that's her line. Because my line is, where will geocaching take you? Cheers.